What's up, YouTube? Minty here, and uh, just uh, just got this DNA test for my dog. It just came in the mail yesterday. Um, it's from Australia, so um, just thought I'd do a video about it, show you guys how to do the test and stuff, and um, and then do the results in kind of a review um, when they come back. So it came in a yellow envelope, like this one here, um, just like a just via like letter post um, from Australia and um, yeah it's just pretty much a couple of um, swabs that I had got in this envelope here ready to send back um, I'll chuck a little clip up um, of Dingo um, I'll chuck a little clip up of um, him doing the test you just have to rub it on their cheek on the inside of their mouth um, pretty easy um, they might not like it but they might like kind of move their head around so you might just have to hold their head still but it's pretty easy to slip it in there between their mouth and um, like they can have their jaw closed and you can kind of still get it in um, and yeah apparently it says um, you find out their full breed composition um, unique personality traits of your dog so that'll be interesting to see if they get that right. Um, genetic health concerns, um, pre pre something to disease, predeposition, plus more. Oh, also you get a custom um, certificate of the dog's breed and um, a photo of them. You send through a photo. Um, and yeah, this is just the instructions, so it says here that you be, get the swabs out of the um, envelope and place the swab between the cheek and the gum of the dog. Firmly rub the swab tip against the inner surface of the dog's cheek in a circular motion several times for 20 seconds. And then you place it in this envelope here. And... Um, you just wait for 25 minutes for it to dry out a bit before you seal the envelope uh, and then you ship it back to them and apparently within 14 days is how long they'll take to uh, to process it and find out the results and then they'll email them to, to you I think also you have to go to this website and register your case ID number which they will give you a card for they'll also put it on the sheet and um, yeah so register that and that just asks you to put in like their name and their approximate age uh, what breed that you think they probably are and um yeah just upload a photo so they can make the certificate but yeah um the company that i got it from was let me see here on apparently it was acumetrics um, so yeah if you want to search that it's an Australian company but I'm pretty sure they ship worldwide but yeah I mean I guess we'll have to wait and see probably in a couple of weeks I'll put the rest of this video together of the results and just a review I suppose and uh, that's pretty much it so thanks and I'll see you guys in about two seconds Okay, so um, I've just got my DNA, uh, my dog's DNA um, results back from Acumetrics. Um, before anything else, I'm going to put a picture of him um, in this video. Um, And I want you guys to leave a comment and tell me what breed that you think he is. Um, he's obviously Labrador, but what breed you think he's crossed with. And yeah, don't try not to cheat. <laughs> um, even though I know what his results are now, um, I would have guessed probably American Pitbull. But um, yeah, let's get into the results. <clears throat> so... Um, it took about three weeks, I think, 
roughly uh, probably about a week to arrive back there. It was in Australia. I probably said that earlier on in the video, but it's been a while since I recorded that part. So um, it took about probably a week to arrive the, to send back the swabs and then three weeks for the results to come back. And um, they send you a certificate, as you can see here. Um, I'm not sure if this was the website, the name of the website that I ordered it from, Acumetrics. Um, it was an Australian website. So yeah, I'm not sure, I'll have to double check that. But um, yeah, you get a certificate, um, it says like the date and stuff. And then here you have level 1. <coughs> And for level one, that means that they would have to have two purebred parents of like a specific breed. Um, otherwise, I'll just say not present. And then level two is like the main breeds, like they would have like one parent or something that was purebred. Um, and for that, he got German short head pointer and Labrador retriever. Um, nothing for level three. Level four, Great Dane. <clears throat> And level 4 is around 10 to 20%, um, so they would have like a great grandparent that was that breed. And then level 5 is Rhodesian Ridgeback. And that is like 5% for level 5, so um, pretty interesting. I was not surprised, like I kind of thought he might have some pointer in him. Um, just looking at other lab pointer crosses, um, definitely kind of looked like him. Although I wouldn't say he looked as tall as a lot of them, um, those pointers look quite tall. Um, but he is a lot, a fair bit taller than like the average lab. Um, so yeah, but they give you like a family tree thing. So it kind of looks like they think that he was um, like one of his parents was a pure bred um, pointer, because on this side they have like just all pointers. And then this side it's Lab, and then there's like a Great Dane, Great Dane and um, Rhodesian Ridgeback on that side. Um, but I'm not sure because um, it did look more like a Lab, I reckon, than a Pointer. But um, like most people just think he's a Lab, Lab Cross. Um, but I guess it depends what they take after, um, you know. And um, this came with the certificate, it just explains like the what level 1 means. This means that they, um, they, they contain a majority of specific breed, 75% or greater. <clears throat> and mixed breed dogs will not normally have a, um, have a level 1 um, breed. And then level 2 is... Um, <clears throat> So level 2 is usually breeds that are recognisable within the dog. Um, each breed listed makes up less than the majority of your dog's DNA. So between 37 to 74%. Okay, so it means it's pretty much less than 75% and more than 37%. Um, and this usually means one of the parents was a pure breed. Level 3, he didn't have any level 3. Um, but this means between 20 to 36 percent. Usually from a grandparent. Level 4, that was his Great Dane one. That's 10 to 20 percent. And uh, that's usually from a great grandparent. <coughs> And then level 5 is um, the lowest level, and that is 5% uh, or less, but it's still like a decent, like a measurable amount. It's still like a measurable amount, so yeah. And then um, <clears throat> it just says, and then the next part it just says like, um, just a bit about each breed that he has, the ba behavioural like stuff like that, um, personality traits and health too, um, common, common like issues that they can have, 
um, and yeah this has a bit about each pet and that's pretty much it um, not really sure what this is um, <clears throat> so yeah I'm not really sure what that is all about but yeah that's pretty much it um, and then it has like a genetic sequence not sure if you can like upload that to other sites and get like other um, results like you can with human DNA tests. I've done a human one before too on myself. Um, so yeah, this cost about fifty nine Aussie dollars. So that's probably saying like fifty US or forty five or something. Um, <clears throat> I think it converted to about sixty five New Zealand dollars. But I mean, I'm pretty happy with it. It's pretty cheap if you ask me. Um, and um, it seems accurate too to me. Um, especially, yeah, it just does. So, um, yeah, unfortunately, Dingo actually passed away last night. Um, so that's kind of sad, but yeah, that's it really. So, thank you for watching and. I'll see you guys later.